Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here coming to you from our studios in the uh, Capital Region International Airport, as a matter of fact. And we're joined by uh, Christine Cook, who's the senior designer at DBI. And Becky, uh, let me let me see if I get this right. Uh, it's Pred Wojewski. Very good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. that work out? I speak two languages. Didn't even know it. So let's let's talk a little bit about each of you ladies and maybe your career paths. And uh, uh, Christine, we'll, we'll start with you. Sure. So I've been a designer here at DBI for five years. So um, I've always done commercial <laughs> interior design, which I absolutely love. And I love helping companies see what the direction that we can take their places and get um, spaces that their people want to work at and come back into the office and things like that. Well, and of course, you work closely with uh, not only Hayworth, the, the furniture people, but also obviously the people you're building the rooms for. It occurred to me when I was walking around there, and I think I even said this to Steve Claver, one of your owners, you know, your designer is under a lot of pressure because if she makes a mistake, people look at it for years. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right. So, Becky, tell me a little bit about you're with Hayworth. Tell me what you do there and how you got there. I am with Hayworth. I'm a dealer sales manager, so I support DBI and then our dealer in Midland, Michigan. And just being there for anything that they need support-wise from Hayworth. I started my career at DBI, so I am ingrained in the fabric of DBI. I, but I've been with Hayworth for 17 years and just trained. I've done project management with them, and now I'm doing the dealer support. Well, this is what happens with good people, like somebody else steals them. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations on being okay with it, Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, Christine, let's talk a little bit about DBI's involvement in this Farm Bureau uh, insurance project. Yeah. So we've been partnered with um, Farm Bureau for a long time. So their previous furniture was Hayworth product as well. So four years ago or so they came to us wanting to redo the building so we actually partnered with access um, studio access now they're called um, they're a architecture and design firm out of indianapolis so we partnered with them and just had a lot of meetings a lot of meetings to decide <laughs> what they wanted for their people it started long before covid so we you know they had plans to update the building and just get it more suited for their type of working styles and things like that. Um, so yeah, it started many years ago. And like I said, we just had a lot of meetings to kind of determine their needs and what they wanted to have their building be. Excellent. So it was a good sized project. How long did it take? It Oops. Well, I mean, from inception, like Christine yeah. mentioned, it's been many, several years. Mm -hmm. They yeah. They did a lot of uh, behind the scenes decision making too. They had gotten to a point before COVID where they were outgrowing their building. So they had to do a lot of analysis internally, whether it was a renovation, whether it was an addition, whether it was a whole brand new building. And so right before, I would say, I would say it's hardcore been going on for four years. So the, at the very beginning of 2020 was, I took them to Hayworth. I took the executive team to Hayworth. It was our last real visit before everything shut down. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. but um, it, they'd already been in discussion then and um, knowing that they wanted to move forward with something. So I'd say a good, a good solid four years. You know, it's interesting you bring that up, Becky, because I, I hadn't even thought about how this was affected by the COVID. And you had to do a lot by Zoom, not in person. Yeah, a lot, a lot by Zoom. But it, I feel it, they kind of they optimized the COVID shutdown because they realized they could do all of this in their building with nobody in it. <laughs> so yeah, you know, people weren't displaced like they would be if you know it had been fully occupied and having to shift people around, and so made things easy for them. Yeah, that was a that was a good point that Don Simon made when when we were out there at the uh, ribbon cutting. It, it sounds like this has been a pretty successful change for Farm Bureau. Um, what what made this project kind of unique and kind of made that efficiency realized by them? I think the biggest thing was the partnership that we 
all had. So whether it be between DBI and access, but then also the people at Farm Bureau, the executives, every department manager, leadership, individual users, because like I said, we had all of these meetings to figure out exactly what they wanted and needed for their working space. And so I feel like the big picture is a space that they all can use and love going to, which is really great as well. I agree. And I think taking input from their own people and their own employees, they did a lot of surveys. They took employee input and actually listened and put it into play, put it throughout the building. And, um, and the leadership is using the spaces the way that they want their people to use the spaces. So it's been really successful. That is so interesting you say that because it's so often things are designed and don't include the people who are going to be working in those spaces. Exactly. exactly. Got about 30 seconds. Is there any project in the uh, near future that uh, I would presume a lot of people are looking at redesign after COVID? A lot of people are looking. Not very many people have made decisions. <laughs> yeah. Well, there so, you go. All right. Yeah. Let's get those on the table, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Bring them on. All right. So, uh, Becky Fred Wojeski, there, I got it right again. All right. <laughs> From uh, Hayworth, we thank you for joining us. And Christine Cook, senior designer at DBI, thanks so much. And thanks for the wonderful work you did out there as well. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris. Lee.